In this video, I will explain the requirements you must meet in order to be eligible to sit for the CPA exam and become a CPA in the state of Connecticut. So, keep watching! Hey future CPAs, this is Ana Abudaya. I'm a licensed CPA in the state of Colorado and I help students pass the CPA exam and become CPAs. If this is your first time here and you're interested in becoming CPAs, start by subscribing to our channel and clicking the bell in order not to miss any of my videos. To qualify to apply to sit for the CPA exam in Connecticut, there are certain requirements you must meet. Comment below and tell me if you are planning to apply to Connecticut State. Now, Connecticut does not have any age or citizenship or even residency requirements to sit for the CPA exam. However, Connecticut requires you to have a United States social security number in order to sit for the CPA exam. With that said, Connecticut may not be suitable for international candidates who do not have a social security number. If you want other state options that are more suitable for international candidates, check this video, which I gave some good states for international candidates. Now, with respect to the educational requirements you must need to sit for the CPA exam in Connecticut, you must have a minimum of a bachelor degree with at least 120 credit hours by a degree granting accredited college or university in the United States. If you studied outside the United States, then you must send your academic credentials for evaluation by NASPA International Evaluation Services or any member of the National Association of Credential Evaluation Service. Your education must include a minimum of 46 semester hours in the study of accounting and related subjects, including but not limited to 24 semester hours in accounting, in addition to at least these three courses, which are one business law course, one economic course, and one finance course. So make sure you have these three courses in addition to the 24 semester hours in accounting. Does that make sense? Comment below and tell me if you meet this educational requirement to sit in Connecticut or not. So these are the requirements um, to apply to sit for the CPA exam in the state of Connecticut. This state also allows you to sit for, this, for the exam in any place in the United States or internationally. So it's suitable for international candidates who want to sit in international locations. Concerning the licensing requirements to become a licensed CPA in Connecticut, they are different from the CPA exam requirements. Watch this video to understand the difference between the licensing requirements and the CPA exam sitting requirements. Now to be licensed as a CPA in Connecticut, you must meet the four E requirements, which are E number one, education. You must have a minimum of 150 credit hours with a BA degree and not 120 hours as required to sit for the CPA exam. This 150 credit hour must include 36 semester hours in accounting and 30 semester hours in economics or business courses other than accounting, such as business law, financial management, managerial finance, business finance, commercial law, principle of management, organizational behavior, principles of marketing, or any other business or economic course. So make sure to fulfill these 150 credit hour requirements in order to be eligible for licensing in Connecticut. If you don't meet the 150 hour requirement and are wondering how to fulfill the 150 hour requirement, make sure to check this video, which I gave you some great options um, on how to fulfill the 100, 150 hour requirement. So make sure to check this video. Note that advertising, retailing and insurance courses are typically not accepted as business or economic courses. So make sure um, to fulfill this requirement. You can also have 60 semester hours in general education courses. 
such as accounting, business, or economic uh, classes that exceed those requirements. So you can have any three other courses above those requirements I talked about. Now, the second E you must meet in order to be eligible to be licensed in Connecticut is passing the four parts of the CPA exam. To learn the four parts of the CPA exam, make sure to watch this video and to get my best tips and tricks to pass the four parts of the CPA exam, make sure to watch these four videos, which I gave you my great tips to pass the uh, FAR part, the audit part, the RIG part, and BEC section of that exam. The third E you must meet is the ethics exam. You must pass the AICPA profe professional ethics exam, which is a self-study course with a score of 90 or higher. Finally comes the fourth E, which is the experience. You must have at least two years of experience, 104 weeks, in public practice, government or industry, providing services or advice involving the use of accounting, attest, management advisory, tax or consulting skills. This experience must be obtained with the 10 years preceding the date of applying for your licensure. In addition, your experience must be verified by your supervisor or employer who must be a licensed CPA to practice public accounting in a U.S. jurisdiction for a minimum of three years prior to the date of verifying your experience. With that said, make sure you fulfill this experience requirement to be approved for licensing. Comment below and tell me if you meet the 4 year requirements for Connecticut or not. To learn how to apply to the CPA exam step by step and schedule the exam, make sure to grab your CPA exam application sheet sheet from the description below. It's totally free and it will help you um, a lot in how to apply for the CPA exam. So make sure to grab your sheet. My next video will be about Georgia CPA exam requirements. So make sure to subscribe to this channel and click the bell to get the video as soon as I upload it to YouTube. Remember. Go after what you want, pass the CPA exam because you can become CPAs and save the world.